Duchess of York discusses family unity in forgiveness amid Charles and Kate cancer treatments. The Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson, has given us an intimate gaze into the life of the royals and she's shed light on how vital it is to back each other up during hard times, hinting at the ongoing turmoil within the royal family. At the Amphar Gala red carpet at the Cannes Film Festival in 2024, the candid royal, aged 64, spoke about the importance of familial unity and support. She shared with people, I think family unity is key. I think the key to life is that we all support each other. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. And also forgiveness is a great thing. I think forgiveness of yourself, and forgiveness of others. Sarah's statements were prompted when asked if she had been able to lend a hand in supporting King Charles, aged 75, and the Kate Middleton, 42, as they face their cancer diagnoses, which were shared earlier this year. The pair announced previously that they had begun treatment for undisclosed types of cancer, with King Charles beginning his journey in February and the Princess of Wales starting hers in March. Despite both receiving ongoing treatments, King Charles has made a welcome return to his royal duties much to the delight of royal fans, while Kate has rightly stepped back from her public role as she recovers at home. However, hubby Prince William has kept the people updated on her health, sharing that she's doing well in the most recent health update disclosed earlier this month, reports The Mirror. Fergie recently had her own health scare when she was diagnosed with both skin, and breast cancer. However, after undergoing a mastectomy, she's now doing well and has put cancer in the corner. I think a lot of people get very frightened to talk about these things, the Duchess of York shared. I'm very happy with my mastectomy and my breasts and just to talk about it. Meanwhile, the royal family is dealing with their own health issues here in the UK, and tensions with King Charles' youngest son Prince Harry are still high after the Duke declined an invitation to stay at a royal residence during his recent trip to England. Harry briefly visited the UK earlier this month to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games but reportedly turned down an invite by King Charles to stay at a royal residence while in the country. Instead, Harry chose to stay at a hotel in London, leaving the palace blindsided, according to royal biographer and editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, Ingrid Seward. The Telegraph reported that Harry rejected his father's invitation due to security concerns. This perceived snub comes after a tense year for royal relations following Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle's criticisms towards the royal family in a Netflix documentary and in his memoir Spare. King Charles and the Prince of Wales are reportedly terrified of the potential repercussions if they were to remove Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's royal titles, a royal commentator has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex famously stepped back from their roles as senior working royals in 2020 and subsequently relocated to Montecito, California, where they live with their children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Since their move to the US, the couple has been openly critical of the royal family, leveling serious accusations including claims of racism. They've also secured lucrative deals, such as a Netflix series and the publication of Harry's memoir, Spare. Despite distancing themselves from royal life, during a recent visit to Nigeria, Harry and Meghan were notably seated in chairs marked Duke and Duchess, which sources A left them feeling delighted at the recognition of their titles. Tom Quinn, the author behind Kensington Palace, an intimate memoir from Queen Mary to Meghan Markle, suggests that there have been extensive talks between Charles and William about possibly stripping the Sussexes of their titles. However, they fear such a move could exacerbate tensions, reports The Express. Speaking to the Mirror, Tom remarked, the last thing they want is to give the renegade royals something else to complain about. William and his father know that even without their royal titles Meghan and Harry would carry on traveling the world as if they were royals and most people in the world will still welcome them.